The future of my favorite genre is looking very bright as we learned about many new open world titles recently that all look promising in their own right and we don't have to wait that long for some of them to come out. So I wanna go over the first cinematic and gameplay trailers of six brand new titles and also share a ton of extra info that we got from Gamescom. Of course, if you are excited about upcoming open world games, then leaving a like on the video would really help me out and a subscribe so you won't miss my next big news and rumor roundup video that drops every Sunday. But first, the new legends will be born in Bloodline Heroes of Lithos, the sponsor of this video. A brand new RPG set in a fantasy world where upgrading your hero is just the beginning. You can namely also marry different bloodlines to develop a full family tree with offsprings that combine powers from their parents, like have your demigods marry a fire folger for thunder and flaming attacks. There are really a ton of combos, it's a really unique twist to the the hero collecting gameplay but equipment is of course also just as important just like your team compositions to take on the many story quests bosses and you can also fight in the arena but there are also guild activities a kingdom you can manage there's really a ton to do in this game and if you click the special link in the video description or scan my qr codes to download the game for free you also get a free dragonborn character and also don't forget to use my limited time codes that you see right here for 20 dollars worth of extra rewards Thanks to Bloodline for sponsoring the video, really helps me improve the channel, and now let's get back into it. Dead Island 2 was totally the biggest new reveal at Gamescom, we talked about it before here in the Sunday videos, but now it has an actual release date, February 3rd, 2023 for both gens and PC. Dead Island is kinda known for its cinematic trailers, with the first one being pretty emotional about a family being ripped apart by zombies, with the majority being played in reverse. Totally had a good time re-watching this, and I think this new Dead Island 2 cinematic is really great too. It shows how in this game we're not survivors but thrivers, like not afraid of the outbreak. We can choose one of the six characters, all with their own starting attributes and skills, and we're already infected from the beginning, so immune to zombies. And throughout the story we will likely see this evolve, as the developers already hinted at some special zombie powers we might be able to use next to the many melee weapons of course, some nice new trobles, including a shuriken and we can use the environment a bit more like for example combine fuel and fire to take out the zombies that way in our attempt to escape LA or hell a as they like to call it so yeah while they did switch developers to Dan Buster studio who started on this game in 2018 the cinematic trailer from 2014 still is a good representation of what we can expect like yes one of the levels will be in Fennish Beach but also Bel Air we saw Hollywood as well so it's not fully open world, but it will contain many sizable open spaces based on the familiar LA locations. These locations can also contain hub areas, side missions, there's up to 3 player co-op if you want. And I think it looks pretty solid, we might actually see some raw gameplay soon as there was a demo playable at Gamescom, so maybe they released the footage at some point. The only downside is that it launches on February 3rd, 4 days before the early access of Hogwarts Legacy starts if you have a special edition. So there's not a lot of time to slash zombies before going to the wizard school. And there are even more big open world or semi-open titles hitting in 2023 that we just learned about with the next two titles really having my curiosity. One is called The Lords of the Fallen. Yes, in 2014 we had Lords of the Fallen, but this is the sequel and they simply put the in front of it. It takes place a thousand years after the events of the first game. And while we did not really see it in the cinematic trailer, one of the new features is that you can also invite a friend via online co-op to fight the many bosses with you. Or you can of course play the whole game in single player. Also new is the ability to make your own character. There should be 9 classes to choose from including Knight, Rogue and Fire Apprentice. Overall seems like there will be way more RPG elements to further enhance these classes. Like it's 5 times larger than the original with many characters and quests that do find along the way. The lantern in the cinematic trailer holds the power to move between the realm of the living and the dead. It seems to play a pretty big 
mechanic roll and it kind of sounds like that mechanic from the Titanfall 2 campaign where you had to switch between time periods of the same level in order to continue. And also worth noting is that Seatsar is the creative director on this game and he worked on a ton of Ubisoft projects before including as an AC Origins boss designer. So. That already has me more curious. They will reveal gameplay later this year, likely at the Game Awards in December. It's running on Unreal Engine 5 and coming to next-gen consoles and PC. And interesting is that it's being worked on by CI Games, who also worked on the original in collaboration with Deck 13. But Deck 13, after making Lords of the Fallen, went on to make Search 1 and 2. And well, during the same Gamescom show, they now announced their brand new IP called Atlas Fallen, also with a cinematic trailer, but with a small bit of gameplay at the end. And I think it looks awesome. Yes, we can sand glide, and overall the desert plays a huge role in this game, not only as the semi-open world we can explore, but also because we have sand-infused powers to, for example, repair a bridge. And our weapons come in different sizes and appear out of sand, which is needed to fight the creatures that we have to hunt down. Like, it totally seems more like a hack and slash game compared to the search which was more about slower paced tactical combat i also really dig the armor that the characters are wearing so we'll totally be keeping an eye on this one once again ps5 xbox series and pc solo or co-op 2023 and maybe you got dune vibes from this well there was an actual dune survival open world game revealed called dune awakening from the developers behind Conan Exiles. So I expect a similar type of game, but where we explore the desert land of Arrakis and have to harvest for resources with this time sandstorms that can change the land, which should keep things interesting. And of course, send worms and other players that are able to steal our harvest. We only have this pretty awesome CGI trailer so far, where we also see a tease of one of the sand worms. There should be thousands of players in one shared world, and the game takes inspiration from both the novels and the recent movie. You can, by the way, sign up for the beta via the website, and I will link to that in the video description. No release indication or whatever yet. Where Wind Meets also deserves a shout out, although I do have some question marks. Yes, Ghost of Tsushima immediately comes to mind, but then in a Chinese medieval setting. I love how we see the player character interact with the beggar in the village to get some information. And at one point we see him use magic to steal an item which then causes the NPCs to chase him. And the idea is that you can approach this situation in multiple ways. You can also pay to get the thing you're looking for instead, although stealing is of course a way cheaper option. Also like it that when the NPCs are chasing him, he can just like freeze them in place and then jump on this bandwagon. Another big focus is the job system, as you can be an architect in this world or an orator who is good with words to convince NPCs. You can be a doctor to heal yourself when in bad weather, for example, or you should also be able to play a bar Bodyguard, because combat of course plays a huge role in this game as well, kind of getting Neo vibes from this. Like it certainly looks good, some really unique ideas like using the roar from the bear against them. And I never like slow paced fishing in a game, so if this is what fishing looks like here, I'm all for it. You can use the leaves for some cool attacks. It really looks awesome, but maybe also a bit too ambitious for Everstone Studios who hasn't made a game before this. It should also have multiplayer, so multiple people can run around in one server, so you can be the bodyguard of an NPC or another player. I hope we ever see it, but right now it looked very scripted and a bit too good to be true. But I hope I'm wrong, there was no release date given at this time and it's currently only planned for PC. I have more faith in Weird Song because even though it's made by a new studio, it's led by Gardener, a 16 year old veteran from Bethesda Game Studios and Staples who has been with Obsidian for 15 years. They formed their own studio, something wicked games and their first project is an open world RPG set in Portugal during the Middle Ages. The trailer did not really reveal too much, although it does seem to do with maybe two versions of the same world. It will still be a while though before we see it as they started in 2021, so this is likely more an attempt to recruit developers. 
Good to know that it's coming though, as it could totally be something special. And yes, we also got updates on already announced open world games with a really cool villain showcase for Gotham Knights where we saw Harley for the first time and many other Batman villains we can expect. Great showing, I think at least going through the story for this game will be very fun. And maybe you also saw the optional companion side quest from Hogwarts Legacy and of course the special edition items. We want to do a roundup of a recent info for those games, so look forward to that. And let me know in the comments if you want a more in-depth roundup on the Dead Island 2, because I just wanted to share the basics here and cover multiple titles, but we totally got more info on that promising looking zombie game, so I can totally share more if you want. Now of course, subscribe to stay up to date on all the upcoming open world games if you haven't already a like on the video would really help me out and check out bloodline again find a link in the pinned comments spawns like that to really help me improve the channel and you can watch my previous video on new thesis for the upcoming big as a screen event that is around the corner by clicking on the screen for now i'll speak to you soon goodbye